grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Summers and thank you so much for tuning in today for this brief daily message of hope. You know, one of the really wonderful experiences I've had in my life back in when I was in my 20s, uh, I lived in Memphis, Tennessee, working for the morning newspaper, and I had uh, the great honor of getting to meet some uh, fine old blues musicians, uh, guitar players for the most part, or harmonica players, or drummers, um, and I got to sit and play with some of them on the guitar. Uh, and one of the things that uh, was a common a theme for a lot of the music was the sound of the train. The sound of the train was important uh, in a lot of blues music because it symbolized uh, to many of them getting away from the present circumstances, uh, escaping uh, on the midnight train even. Uh, going somewhere else. And generally, that was a result of the current situation being a very, very difficult and very hard. Uh, and it was a way of escape. And so making the sound of the train on the guitar, on the harmonica, was very important because it was a, uh, putting into sound uh, a dream, a dream of escape. You know, many people today are trying to escape from uh, current circumstances because for a lot of people, times are very difficult right now. Uh, we have not come completely out of this coronavirus uh, scare that we've had because uh, we're still seeing people getting very sick. We're doing better now with the vaccines and we're doing better with the, the, uh, the ways we treat that, but, but it's still, it still worries people. And because of that, Financial times are hard for people, and so there is a dream that many people have of being able to escape. Well, I've got to tell you that it's not just a dream, it's a reality. Uh, the Lord Jesus has already lifted us up above our current circumstances. Uh, the fact that we're still being hurt means that we're, we're focusing in the wrong direction. Uh, God has given us his son, Jesus, uh, to take on him the burden, the pain, uh, the suffering uh, that we're going through now. Uh, it doesn't make it disappear. It provides a whole new meaning for what we're going through. Uh, we're going through it not alone, and uh, often the sound of the train in the middle of the night leads people to think of escaping alone. That's the first lie we must put to rest. We're never alone. Uh, we may be physically by ourselves, but we are not spiritually alone. God loves us so much that he's with us all the time. Uh, Jesus is present in everything we do uh, at every moment, at every time. He has not abandoned us to the forces of this world. Uh, he is our deliverer from the forces of this world. And of course, the main uh, attack that the enemy has on us, Satan and all his uh, minions who follow him is to make us fear the darkness and to fear death. Well, the light of Christ has conquered the darkness and the love of the Lord Jesus Christ has conquered death. We need not be afraid of those anymore. Uh, now it doesn't make the darkness disappear, but the fear of the darkness goes away because the light of Christ has shattered it. It doesn't make death stop but it takes away the fear of death because death isn't the end. Life conquers death. Uh, so we still think about the sound of that train at night taking us somewhere else. Instead, let us lift up our hearts to the Lord who is with us and let him carry us in his wings, sheltering us in his arms, comforting us in whatever we're going through because he has overcome it and through him we can accomplish amazing things that we cannot do by ourselves please remember that it's for you that he died and he loves you he's with you you don't need to escape from that uh, you don't need to escape from what's going on all around you but you can put the lord between you and all of it he stands between you and anything that can hurt you and remember that he loves you 
And so, hope you have a blessed day today, and God willing, I will see you right here again tomorrow.